All right, let's get things going, shall we? Oh, when did I cross 150 followers? Huh. Well, let's pull me up here. Seriously, when did I cross 150? That's actually news to me. When did that happen? Hold on for a second. I just want to see this for myself. <laughs> Alright, well, yeah, look at that, 150. Nice! Very nice! Sweet! Next milestone's 200. Let's do it! <laughs> no, I thought. Yeah, my chair's not locked in place. There! Now I won't fall backwards. Uh, I'm not worried about milestones. When it happens, it happens. It's not something I strive for. It's just. Hey, that's cool. That is cool. So, tonight we are back with the Super Nintendo games. Little update. This weekend was kind of a disaster. <laughs> um, the Kingdom Hearts stream went well. Uh, got closer to the end, so the uh, the Proud Mode session on Saturday will be awesome. Um, tried to do Psychonauts since Co-op Crapshoot had to be cancelled. It's okay, Steve. I know why. We're good. <laughs> it's no big deal. Uh, I tried to play Psychonauts, but my video card... Oh, no. The... Hold on. I'll, I'll tell the story in a second. The rest of this shirt says... With, without a costume. <sighs> I'm scary without a costume. <laughs> it was my Halloween costume. Dad jokes for the win. But anyway, so my video card ended up having issues with the fan not spinning as fast as it should have been, and thus it was overheating, and in the middle of my Psychonauts stream, my computer just cut off and restarted itself. After some poking and prodding and figuring out what it was, I ended up lubricating the fan with some WD-40, removing it from the card first so I didn't damage any electronics, but, uh... <clears throat> Lubricated the fan with a little WD-40, and it's spinning up to par, and it's cool as it's supposed to be. So, there is that. So, And my wife was going to stream yesterday, but she came home really tired, not feeling too good, so we canceled that. But uh, just keep an eye on the Twitter to see when and if that'll happen again. I'm sure it will, it's just a question of when, really. But... Enough chat. Let's go ahead and start the games. We are starting off with the amazing Spider-Man Lethal Foes. Apparently this game is not in English. I did not realize this was a Japanese game. The start game thing is go spidey <laughs> yeah not an English game shoot that's nice okay a is attack oh, that is weird I didn't drop anything, so it, it seems to be on Twitch's end. It did take me an excessively long time to get into the Twitch chat today with Ankbot. Okay. Well, I jumped really crazy. Oh! Saved it. There's the web swing. Whoa! Pretty awesome web swing there. Oh, look at that. Animation's really good. Gameplay is fairly solid. Why did this not come stateside? Nope, nope. Ah, okay. L and R go in that specific direction. Good to know. Do, do, do. 
I have passed something up. That is obviously not the end. Yeah, and if they're obsessed with Spider-Man, it figures they would actually make a good game for him. I mean, that web-swinging was fluid! I just have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing is all. Try destroying as many enemies as I can find. Oh, maybe I am supposed to go up here. Excuse me as I just try to coast through this with web swinging. Oh my gosh, it's the freaking beetle. Sounds like an interesting shirt. Got him! Oh, they even do like a cool slow-mo when he's done. <laughs> Password is Jenkins. Really? <laughs> I'm in love with this game. I need a patch for this. Oh my gosh. Is that the freaking Human Torch? That's the freaking Human Torch. I have a feeling I'm being slandered there. Leroy Jenkins! You know what, if I don't have to fight you, I'm not going to. Apparently we go this way now. I'm sure we'll see Goblin in here somewhere. These are very Goblin-esque and Doc Ock-esque enemies. I'm just gonna stay on the floor. I like it down here. Seriously, I can actually web swing in the friggin' sewer. Uh, kinda. There we go. I just found money. Come on. is freaking awesome. Great music. The sound effects are not fantastic, but they're not overbearing either. Oop, bet you there's something up here. Come on, let's just scream secret. Eh, whatever. Seriously, money. You don't take too much damage, enemies are not overbearing, it's just fun.
Now I just need to find where I'm going in these sewers. Okay. Just no map or anything, so... Just gotta deal with that. Ow. You want to learn coding and scripting? Um, hold on, I've got the perfect answer for this because I'm actually doing the same thing. Codecademy.com Free lessons, very, very well done because I'm actually understanding them. Oh, that's right, A is attack. <clears throat> but, um... But yeah, uh, I refreshed myself with an HTML and CSS course, and I'm actually in the middle of a JavaScript course now. And you can't beat the price. I mean, it's free. You create a free account by signing in with either Facebook, Twitter, email, whatever. So whatever you're comfortable with signing up. And uh, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. Do I prefer BBW? I am actually not sure what that is. But welcome, Joker. Where is this friggin' exit? I have a feeling I'm not going to win this one. time limit thing. Shoot. <clears throat> well, if that's what it's supposed to be, I'm getting the sneaking suspicion that a joke is trying to be made and one that I should not take part in. Let's just enjoy some Spider-Man. Nah. Web swinging only goes forward if you hold the button. So once you let go of the button, it gets a little confusing. Whoa! Secret health area. Neat. Yeah, no problem there, Acknowledgements. Uh, that place has been great for me to refresh myself on code and to learn new stuff. I am currently in the process of trying to learn JavaScript so I can make something that'll access the YouTube API so I can improve the Nevermore Studios website. So, and they've been a great resource for that. make a game that's a great place to start but um don't make the mistake I've been making and expect immediate results it takes time I mean the JavaScript course that I'm taking right now they estimated at about 10 hours I'm about maybe three hours into it <clears throat> throughout several days but that's another reason I like it is you can learn at your own pace Hey, I found it this time. Aw, uh, it's gonna be Lizard.
Oh no! He is becoming... Oh, that'd be interesting to check out too. Oh god, let me go! The difficulty of this just ramped up immensely. Yep. Where are they starting me? Oh my goodness, really? So yeah, it seems like you've uh, got some good resources to work with now. super friggin' surprised to get that giant heart. Alright. Let's see if we can get Lizard taken care of. After Lizard, we'll go ahead and move down the list. Gotta keep him at a moderate distance. How did he? It's not even fair. That is seriously not fair. There we go. <laughs> Got him that time. Connors. Okay, so the password is the name of the alter ego of the boss you fought. Yeah, he transformed back. Seriously, Torch, what the hell? Why do I get the feeling that this running gag is a human Torch helps chuck him off and then Jameson thinks the Torch did it all? As cool as this is, we do have more games to show tonight, so. Let's go ahead and switch her up. Up next, probably one of the ones that will not be that good. But I've been proven wrong before on that. I thought this Spider-Man one was going to be bad. Let's see. Give me just a second here. Okay. Yeah, if this isn't based off the movie. Oh, it sure is. Oh, it sure is. Okay. Well, I gotta re layer my windows here. There we go. Oh god, that's not an obnoxious sound at all. Honestly, acknowledgements, I can't really say yes or no to that. 
because uh, I have tried to do game art before. It takes a lot of time. And it's just something that, personally, I don't think I have the time for right now. Okay. But regardless, I do wish you the best of luck on that. This is obviously... Ah, there we go. That's some weird... edge climbing mechanic. <clears throat> well, one thing I would do before putting an artist together and all that is write up your plan write up exactly what you're going to do how you want it done uh, a general direction of what you would like it to look like I mean know what you're going into so that when an artist looks at what your project is they're not going well this guy doesn't know what he's doing yet it's gonna be a really hard job or <clears throat> something along those lines Steve and I have tried making a game together before. It's a little hard with the distance between us. And the fact that we have families and lives and jobs and stuff. Ow. Take that. This is definitely not the best game I've ever played. But, you know, for anyone that was a fan of the movie... Yeah. Placeholder art until you get the engine going. Because if you try to make a game going for your art style first, it's going to get really overwhelming really fast. That way, when you are ready to bring an artist on, you can just uh, plug things in as they finish them. Come on, Fred. But yeah, like I said, Steve and I have tried this before. It's a little difficult, but it's not impossible if you approach it the right way. <clears throat> but depending on what your game is and what scope of what you want to do contains, it could get overwhelming really fast if you're not careful. And when something gets overwhelming, if you're anything like me, that is, it, it's really hard to stay on it. Sometimes when I get overwhelmed by stuff, I find it really hard to stay on it. And like I was explaining before with this JavaScript thing I'm trying to do for my website. <clears throat> um, I mean, I started off taking the API course on Code Academy, thinking, oh, well, this will just tell me what I need to do. And, and no, not really. I mean, yes, I now understand how APIs work a little better. 
but it was still overwhelming and I didn't understand a lick of anything that came after that. Really don't know what pushing that rock did. But when I got overwhelmed with the API stuff, because once I reached a point of, okay, I know how this is supposed to work, but it's not doing it, I then realized, well, maybe I should go take the basic JavaScript course. Oh, I see what the rock's supposed to be for. And so I'm just starting very slow, taking the basics, and doing it one step at a time. So, honestly, best advice I can give for approaching a, a, a project like that. And all I'm trying to do is add some fanciness to the website. Oh. Oh, now I just feel stupid. Come on. Fred. I know you're a caveman, but do you have to jump like one? Yep. There we go. <laughs> yeah, we do need to finish that game. <laughs> uh you know, with me taking some coding courses, maybe I can help with more than just art in the long run. We shall see. That was a big gem. This game, and it took me all the way back, so that switch that I hit was not a checkpoint. Basic web design is not terribly difficult. I mean, HTML and CSS are enough to make a half-decent site. But if you want to make it interactive, kind of flashy, then you got to get into the complex stuff like PHP, JavaScript, jQuery. All that fun stuff. And I mean, yes, I am partially doing it in order to make my website prettier. But I'm also partially doing it to try and increase my workload at my, my job because I'm the only guy that doesn't really know how to code, didn't go to school for it, and doesn't have a degree, not counting the interns. But, uh, so I'm mainly customer service and email management, and that's the kind of stuff you don't need code for. So I'm trying to increase my code knowledge so I can take on more responsibility at work. So. Uh, no, scripting is going to be for making everything. Um, I mean, if you're writing code, you are scripting. It's just another fancy word for coding. <clears throat> Unless there is a differentiation I've never understood, but... But no, if you if you want to make a game, scripting, coding, it's all the same stuff. And it's all going to be needed. It's not really going to be from a hacking standpoint. Hacking is when you use coding skills to make something do some, something else that it's not normally supposed to do. See, that's just not fair. Hacking is coding. But coding is not hacking. Coding is making somebody else's code do what you want it to do, whether it was supposed to or not. <laughs> so, like... Oh, my PlayStation 3. It was never intended to play Super Nintendo games. But it does.
Ah, eh, forget it. How did I get a one-up? Furthermore, why did I get a one-up? Giant gem. Yeah, because hacking... Ah, oh, crap. Meh. Well, I screwed that up. We're going to move on. But, um... No, and I wouldn't really call myself a hacker. I take advantage of other people's hacks. So, I am just a user of said hacks. But, uh... This game here, The Flintstones, The Treasure of Sierra Madrock. I think this one is more towards the Hanna-Barbera cartoon. Yeah, look at that. But, hacking is often frowned upon because it's often used for piracy. But, um... There are some good things for hacking as well. Like, we've, we've had to hack some of our own websites at work to get them to do things they weren't normally supposed to do. What? Oh, is this like that Popeye game? Float like Yoshi does. This, this is madness. That's what this is. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, we use it to test security faults. We use it for, uh... primarily testing security faults. I mean, there's not really a whole lot of information I can provide beyond that because I'm not one of the programmers. Um, oh, this is a bonus stage. I see now. Bonus stage that I am terrible at! Okay, so the last digit of my time become something for my tic-tac-toe board. Cool. I love how it's a round rock. But it is treated as if it's a dice. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, that's nice. I don't have enough clams. Uh, if you want to post a link to it, uh, you'll have to ask a mod, which, uh, Steve, um, exclamation mark permit followed by his username. <clears throat> Enough clams. <laughs> Betty is looking for me. Oh, boy. Those frogs look like the uh, Looney Tunes frogs. There you go. No! Yeah, I don't 
think so, Tidal Wave. Yeah. Bad Shark! Should have allowed it. Unless you missed the time frame. Yeah, I think you missed the time frame. But I got the link, and I mean anyone that does want to look at it, uh, they can they can click the purge message to check it out, so there is that. If you want to do it again, Steve, it's up to you. Okay, so if the stage has been completed. There's Betty. There you go. And that is something that I like about Ankbot. Oh god. You're spelling it right. It wasn't a time cutoff. Yeah, I'll take a look into that. We'll get that figured out. But, um... I think we're gonna give this one one more level and then we're gonna move on to the next game. I wanna get Lion King in tonight. It is the highlight game after all, and I've still got one, two, three, four other games to get through before Lion King. It's an armadillo! It's a giant armadillo! I don't normally say armadillo like that, I just... It was fun. Hey, hey! I thought you are supposed to be a friend. Yeah, spelling it right, getting the underscore in there and everything, I... I don't know what's going on there, Acknowledgements. Yeah! This is kind of like that one scene in Lion King. Okay. Okay, I think we're going to go ahead and move down the list. <sighs> Let's see, what is next on our game list? Ooh, this ought to be interesting. Let's see. The Incredible Crash Dummies. God, I used to love the Crash Dummies. It was just one of the stupidest things to become popular when I was a kid. <laughs> Take it easy, Steve. <clears throat> Digging that beat. We must stop Junkman before he discovers the secret of his powerful T-9000 body. <laughs> the guy looks like a crappy version of Mr. Freeze. This game is full of puns. Okay. I can throw wrenches. I can jump. That kind of pelvic thrust when I jump. I do watch Gotham. Oops. I've lost a leg. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. This is gruesome. Thank goodness I'm a crash dummy. But I do watch Gotham. And frankly, I'm one of the few people that seem to enjoy it. The internet just tears at a new one. Okay. It's provocative meters.
I really, really enjoyed it because the ascent of the penguin has been absolutely fascinating to watch, and what they've been doing lately with a uh, Joker origin every week, just playing with the fans. Um, I believe I'm caught up unless there was a new episode tonight. I don't do regular TV, I just do Hulu and uh, Netflix. So I always have to catch it the, the day after. So, which reminds me, I need to watch Once Upon a Time. Now that I have my full body again, I can pelvic thrust properly. Yeah. Oh, come on. Excuse me as I hump the ground here. Just <laughs> drag my junk across the ground. No. I really need to start throwing my wrenches. Yeah, Fish has been absolutely fantastic. Jada Pinkett Smith is amazing. Right now, the only redeeming factor of this game is that I pelvic thrust when I have all my body parts. Yeah, I survived that time. Yeah! I would appreciate no spoilers, actually. It's the fact that we're not going to have fish for the rest of the season, or at the end of the season, because I already knew that. I saw an interview with Jada about her leaving the show. Oh my gosh! Oh, I can jump on things? That would have been nice to know. Oh god, now I can Sonic the Hedgehog it. Well, I could. There we go. <laughs> That's what it was? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that bit of news. Alright. We're about an hour in. This is the fourth game of the night. Well, you know, I just fall to pieces every time I can't make it as far as I need to. That was terrible, I'm sorry. Whoa! Okay, we'll see if we can get through this level, and then we'll move on. Oh, come on. You know, that is starting to wear on me. Hmm. Oh yeah, she's an original character. And honestly, I would not be surprised to see Fish Mooney appear in future comic stories. I mean, one thing you gotta remember is some of the best characters do get their start in different media besides the comics. I mean, Harley Quinn got her start on the animated series. And now she's in comics galore. So Fish might get the same treatment in the future. Oh, come on. I needed that leg. Man, I'm glad no humans work here. This is hazardous. Yeah. Oh, 
This is crazy. Well, we have yet to see what's going to happen to fish, so. Alright, I think I'm going to move down the list. Next. Let's see what's next. Oh, what is next? You are... The Incredible Hulk. <laughs> I'm already impressed with this game. Let's hope it's not... Let's hope it's not that bad. Well, that was rather impressive for Super Nintendo. Top and goofy. I don't think my pants are purple enough. Ah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is the craziest ladder animation I have ever seen. Take that, phone booth. That's for not existing anymore. Did I just see a sign for fried chicken in the background? Monkey on me. Oh, come on. Apparently, I have to be bruised to get in there. Which I'm assuming what is what happens when my health gets down to the purple section. I'm sorry, but if Hulk picked you up and skull bashed you, you wouldn't get up. I don't care if you're a robot. Why are you firing water balls at me? Cement, metal, I don't know what they are. I don't know what to do. There's no time limit though, so. Oh, my God. 
you like 50 times. Good idea. Looped around. Look at that. Oh no. fight back right now. Picks up toy gun. It's freaking fast. And run. Uh. 
honestly don't know if there's a way for me to re-hulk myself. Yeah, just kill me. I'll give this one more shot here. was more fish-like, kind of reptilian. I'm not a fan of the collision detection in this game. Oh my goodness. I think we're going to go ahead and move on. Because this is just not something I appear to be capable of. The Earth now belonged to the leader. Yeah, that figures. Next. The itchy and scratchy game. That animation was fantastic. Let's hope the game plays well. Jurassic Bath.
not a very imagined game. <laughs> itchy and scratchy. Now let's move on to the last game before the highlight game. The Jetsons. Alright, 
Invasion of the Planet Pirates. The music's so quaint. Let's just skip ahead to the game, shall we? Push it so far. Oh, hey, look at that. push block on that. I was mistaken.
Hey, Luke. Haven't seen you around in a while. How you been? Ah, there we go. No, no, there we go. Okay. We made it. You learn to say it ain't so? On what? Okay, that was just a little secret area. Bad robot. Guitar? Cool. Why is everything vacuum based? This is so weird. This is a Jetsons game, and I'm trying to see if I can get to the end of the stage, at least, so we can move on to the highlight game of the evening, which is The Lion King. And really, it's, it's not terrible. It's definitely not the best game I've ever played, but it's not terrible. The whole vacuuming platforming mechanics takes some time to get used to. But it's controlling pretty solidly, actually. I would dare to say that this game is actually fun. The game neglects to realize just how badly I want this stuff. It's, a, it's an ape. I'm being attacked by the freaking Jetsons Donkey Kong. It's unique. That's that's for sure. It is definitely unique. Oh my goodness. Being in a freaking Jetsons world, it's a lot to take in too. But um Yeah, okay, so we're just gonna call that for the Jetsons and move on to our highlight game of the evening. game doesn't even give me a chance to build it up, it just immediately goes into the most iconic song ever. Let's just go. Indeed it does. Ugh. I actually owned the cartridge for this. This is one of my wife's favorite games. A good game. No, I'm not going to use any invincibility codes. We're going to play it the way it was meant to be played. Over and over and over again until you figure out the one thing you did wrong so you can get past that point only to realize that there's more difficult stuff right afterwards. <laughs> That's pretty much how this game ran. Far 
too much about this stage. Come on, come on. Screw it, I'll roll. Because that's how I roll. That was moderately terrible. Oh yeah, this is definitely easily one of the hardest games on the Super Nintendo, but that doesn't make it terrible. Oh my gosh, this game is amazing. Ow. Ow. Come on, all the bugs. I must eat them all. I think that's everything. <laughs> no, I wasn't saying that against you, Luke. I was just saying that just in general. Give me the bugs, give me the bugs, give me the bugs. Tomo, quit throwing that freaking slow bug. You screwed me, Timon. You screwed me. Ah, oh, the most infamously hated level in the entire realm of Super Nintendo games. Not just in this game, but as Super Nintendo games in general. This is one of the most hated levels. I personally love it. so hard to see. Ah! Stuffed it. <laughs> yeah, you can hate it all you like. To each his own. There is no shame in you having an opinion. Shame can potentially come in what you do with that opinion. It's just a Lion King. Because if the ostrich hits something, it counts as you hitting something. Hmm. Sometimes I can shortcut that jump. Sometimes I can't. Sometimes I fall in the water like I just did. Oh, we're going to be lucky to see adult Simba. <laughs> It'll happen, though. This game's amazing. Personally, no issues with the gameplay, except for this part here. It's just challenging. It's not that it's bad, it's just challenging. Boy, is it. Well, as long as I can get that one up, we can repeat this section all night long. Ha, there we go. Do we want to continue? No. It's not worth it. This is the part where they don't tell you what's coming. You have to figure it out. Doing good. 
doing good, doing good. That was bad. <laughs> Not all the sound is here. It's the little game over sound's gone. And if I can't make it to that one-up, we may be seeing the game over screen pretty soon. There we go. It's all about lining things up. There's a specific way to line your jump up. Collision detection in this is not finicky. It's not unfair. It is downright precise. Down. Down. <laughs> ah! I did it. Now for monkey part number two. That sounded awful. Monkey parts. That's not an innuendo. I don't know what is. So you're going to take me up. I think that's where I want you to go. Hold on. Can you just do that. Where do you go? I have not played a thousand and one spikes. I've wanted to. Man, it's from the guy that did Cave Story, right? Oh, no, oh, no. Oh. Okay. Where do you take me? Yeah, you're useful. Okay. Should be good now. <laughs> I know what I did wrong. I know what I did. I could have sworn that the, uh, that Nicholas did 1001 Spikes, but, um, not a big deal. There we are. Did it. Spiders. They always get me. Um. 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 Donk. Bonk. Takes care of you guys. Publishing and all that, I never really followed for Cave Story. No, 
Get off of me. Oh, seriously. Freaking turkeys. There we go. That's a spider. Ah, oh, I used to be so good at catching him before he got airborne. Really gotta get rid of him. Or else he's gonna bug me this whole time. Okay. Just listen to teacher. Man, I wish I remembered all the lyrics. Yeah, Luke, sorry about that. <clears throat> I use Ankbot. It's got link protection. Yeah, I've... I've had the free version of Cave Story before. Okay. And that's... That is where I first played it. Part of the reason why I was so excited to see upgrades and improvements and all that. Simba. Go. Mm. Okay. Made it. Oh, come on. Crap. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, let's just get out of there. Oh gosh, speedrunners of this game? Oh, that frightens me a little. Hmm. I think I just kind of sped run that section. Okay. stages in the game. Mm. Fire 16, I'll have to lift that guy up. Capturing the intensity of this scene, this does it perfectly. It's just, it's just crazy. Ah. Oh. There's the death sound. Where have you been this whole time? Am 
might have done a highlight. Yeah, I'll have to look that up. gone again. Sense no make do. Wow, I'm already off to a great start from doing that. Yeah, I can see how that would be a problem. I was creating a new one on Gmail. For free! That'd be one way around that. Okay, we've got much more health than we did last time. Doing good, doing good, doing good, doing good, doing good. Rocks are getting me though. Kill him. Yes. I'm okay with this stage. Mail? Never heard of it. Ow. Seriously? Seriously, coconut? Really? because I'm going to need to survive those in a minute. Crap. And the death sound's back. Just need to get through this stage and we can get to Adult Simba. Ah, uh, was that the joke? Did I get joked? jumped. I did. Appreciate the bad jokes. I'm a dad. Oops. Okay. Come on. Almost done. <gasps> oh, that 
was uncomfortably close. Hey, continue point. Thank goodness. Oh yeah. If you got bad jokes, you're gonna be a great dad. Well, that's not all it takes, but it helps. Okay. Bottomless pit, gotta place my jumps just right. Made that look like a pro. Oop, wait. I forgot about Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. Ain't no passing praise. I don't remember the exact lyrics. Oh, this is where ain't no passing craze. It means no worries for the rest of your days. It's a problem free philosophy. Hakuna Matata. Not big on the stage, but I love the song. Oh, I don't want that one. Give me that. There we go. So when we get to the log stuff, I'm probably going to need it. Oh, come on. Come on, Simba, turn down the suck. Okay. Let's go this way. Yeah, it'll work. Here we are. I figured out a long time ago that this set right here here, it's usually spaced where you can jump straight up, catch a nearby one, and slowly make progress. Like so. Yeah, I was never musically inclined, so I'm hoping my kids take to computer stuff. But honestly, I kind of hope they take to sports, too, because that's something I never really did. I play golf. Not very well, either. I just enjoy it. jump haphazardly in this stage. Oh! Pff. Oh, jeez. There we are. Oh, mine will. My son, ah, oh, crap. My son is very active. He loves going outside, he loves sports, basketball, and anything involving running around is just his thing. I mean, for an eight-year-old, he's tall. Yeah, that monkey slapped me. But I jumped on his butt, so it's okay. This is really the only other boss fight in the game. Gotcha.
What are we doing? Where are we going? sure how. Bye-bye. Ah, bug hunt. Ah, that friggin' spider every time. It's adult Simba! spitting at me. I'm going to have to read that in a second, Luke. <laughs> okay. Hey, as long as you find happiness, man. We deal with the hand life has dealt us, and we make the best of it, and we move on. Source, all right. Excuse me as I clear out this cheetah den. Thank you, Rafiki. You always wear a stand up monkey. Like these little craps. I can still jump on enemies as adult Simba. I think I have to use the claws. Yeah. But I don't take damage from contact anymore, so... Fiki. Oh my god, save me! Save me! I'm okay. Oh. I want to say a fully charged roar should take care of those monkeys. Let's find out. Yep. Health bug. That one you gotta be careful, because if you slash too close to it, and you touch it while it's moving, it automatically kills you. I remember that. Go away, monkey. Nobody wants you here. <laughs> he hit me after my roar went off. Cancelled the sound effect still produced what I wanted it to. OK, 
Okay, got the bonus bug. I can believe that. Bug breath? Yeah, Simba's got all of that. important. Oh god, what the heck was that? Hmm. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and give this to a game over. I am going to try. Smarter than you? Well, then you gotta be careful with that. <laughs> if she's nice about it, great. <clears throat> if you need to put your foot down, I'd be worrisome about that. British accent? Ooh. Blonde Brit who's smart. Mm. So that was the Lion King. Yay! Hold on. The king has returned. I love that. Just had to do that. So. All right. Well, that is going to be the platformer challenge for today. We have made it through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight games showcase tonight. So that's pretty good. Uh, tomorrow night I will be back at 8 p.m. Eastern. And let's see, tomorrow it looks like we've got the Lost Vikings 1 and 2. The Lost Vikings actually recently just got in that new uh, Blizzard MOBA game. So that might be interesting to see. Uh, the Magical Quest series, the Mickey Mouse platformers that are really good. So there's that. There is that. Um... So that's five games. The Mask, the Page Master. We may end with the Page Master, because right after that is the three Ren and Stimpy games, and we may save that for Thursday. So we got some good games tomorrow, it looks like. So again, 8 p.m. Eastern. <clears throat> I'll be right here. And uh excuse me. For some reason my water's coming back to bite me. And we had tacos for dinner. Those are actually coming back to bite me. But uh I am uploading this to YouTube still, so if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, please consider coming by Twitch at MarcusRaven86 to join us in the live chat. We have a lot of fun here. And also, if you haven't done so already, please follow me on Twitter at MarcusRaven86 for stream announcements and updates. Uh, in the near future, I will be programming some updates for the NevermoreStudiosOnline.com website, so that's something to look forward to. It's going to take some time, but I've got some interesting plans in the works. And as always, stay awesome. I will give you guys something to rock out to. And see you next time. Bye-bye!